with Never Grew Up Vacations, and now it's time to come fly with Amy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy, and I am a professional traveler and travel agent. I live in Orlando, but I'm always traveling, so you never know where you might find me. In today's video, I am going to be giving you a room tour and resort tour of Caesars Atlantic City. As most of you who have followed my channel know, I used to live in the Jersey area, but no longer live there as I'm now in Orlando. But anytime I get the chance to come back to Atlantic City, I do because I grew up going to Atlantic City. I love to gamble. I like the scene here. I obviously love the beach when it's a little bit warmer most of the time. Um, but I always hop around and I enjoy trying out all the hotels the Atlantic City area has to offer. So here I am today at Caesars Atlantic City. I have stayed here before, not in this specific room, but I've stayed in different towers. Um, currently I am staying in the Centurion Tower and I have the most beautiful refurbished room. It is a panoramic ocean view premium room with a king bed. And I'm so excited to show you for reference of this tour, I am on the 27th floor. So I'm gonna turn you all around, show you this room, and then we'll take a loop around Caesars Atlantic City. All right, and welcome to my room at Caesars Atlantic City. Here is the front door. Again, for reference, I am on the 27th floor, the Centurion Tower. This is a premium ocean view, panoramic ocean view room. This room was just refurbished, you can tell because it is super swanky and modern and it is beautiful, like the most beautiful finishes. Um, so you can see it's really high end stuff and I've stayed in some of the older Caesars rooms so this is a very welcomed change. Um, beautiful shower, love all of these fixtures. The rooms previously looked nothing like this for reference. Um, beautiful round mirror with the illuminated lighting, which is awesome for makeup. You do have these Jose Eber products. Plenty of space for towels, hair dryer. You do have a separate room here for your toilet, which is always nice, especially if you're a couple, one's getting ready, one's using the restroom. Here is the room. So you do have a closet here, which plenty of space, um, little um, luggage stand, a safe ironing board if you need one. And here is the room. Again, super modern, clean, open finishes, which are beautiful. So just a detail out this room here. Um, love this extended headboard. It is gorgeous. Love the little ode to Caesars up there. I do want to say that the previous theming did really not have a lot of Caesars influence. It just kind of felt like a standard room. So I do like that they, you know, started to do some of that. This is a king of bed. Plenty of drawers. I'm staying here for two nights, so I don't think I'll really be getting much use out of those. Um, huge TV, by the way. You do have a beverage cooler right there. You have a desk with a coffee machine. As you can see, I'm currently set up right now. I'll show you my view in just a moment. Again, you have a phone over here. You have tons and tons of outlets. It does look like you have um, just little buttons that'll like change the lighting. So that's really nice. I like the um, mood lighting, if you call it. Little sitting area over here. So I have panoramic windows. So yes, I can see all, just about all the way around here, Atlantic City. So here's where I'm at. Caesars Atlantic City is located on the boardwalk, which the boardwalk is right down there past the tip of those buildings. Bally's Atlantic City is right there. Hard Rock and Oceans and Resorts is just beyond there. Going the opposite way of me um, would be Tropicana. And then here is our ocean view, which I'm gonna love waking up to this in the morning. It is unfortunately December, um, so I cannot say it's warm. I will not be in the ocean nobody else in the ocean, um, but it's a great view to wake up to. I'm so excited. So let me show you around the rest of the resort. Similar to Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Caesars Atlantic City has a very grand and welcoming atmosphere. Throughout the resort, you'll notice a very Italian-esque Colosseum-like gladiator-like decor. 
You'll notice that Caesars does have a varying number of room types and room views. Some of the rooms do overlook the lobby. A few years back, Caesars Atlantic City started a new partnership with Gordon Ramsay, hence the Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill. Located in the lobby area is a little cafe. This cafe features light bites, coffee, and sweet treats. This is open 24 hours a day for whenever you might be hungry. Gordon Ramsay's pub actually continues all throughout the entire lobby area. As to be expected, this restaurant is a British themed fair, but also has a really nice bar area. Caesars Atlantic City also has a number of shopping outlets. You can buy everything from alcohol to purses to some outfits in these locations. Looking to see a show? Caesars Atlantic City does have a full-on theater that does host a number of shows and concerts throughout the year. Newly added to the restaurant lineup at Caesars Atlantic City is Nobu. Nobu, which is found in many major cities across the U.S., is known for their sushi and other seafoods. It was recently announced that a Nobu Hotel would also be joining the Caesars Atlantic City portfolio, although further details have not been announced. Also new to this property is Gorda Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. I do want to note that not all of these restaurants are open every night of the week. Many of these high-end restaurants are only open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, so be sure to check the website for the appropriate hours of operation. Now let's head to the boardwalk level of Caesars Atlantic City. Of course, on levels one and two, there are a number of table games as well as slot machines, because of course, you gotta gamble when you're in Atlantic City. Located close to the high-end rollers area of the table games is Kiwi Noodle House. The Toga Bar is located in the center of the boardwalk level of the casino floor and is open into the wee hours of the night. This is also a great spot to watch any sporting events. The pier shops, which are attached to Caesars Atlantic City, unfortunately are not what they used to be. This used to be a vibrant mall, but is mostly vacant. For those of you that have previously visited Caesars Atlantic City, you'll know that they used to have a really great buffet. This buffet area has since closed and has now been rebranded as a pizza shop with limited hours and availability. Connected to Caesars is Bally's. Bally's used to be owned by Caesars, but they are no longer affiliated. 
This area, which has recently been turned into a sports book area, is known as the Wild West. And there was our trip to Caesars Atlantic City. I had such a great time, I always do. Um, if you have never been to Atlantic City and you're looking for some sort of gamble getaway, obviously Atlantic City is a great place for you. I will say historically, if you've been to Atlantic City before and you haven't been for a while, things are a little bit different. Um, over time, Atlantic City has lost a little bit of its luster, unfortunately, just due to the economy. Um, some of the casinos closed up and pulled out. So there's been a lot of changes over the past, I'll say about 15 years in Atlantic City, and I assume things will continue to evolve and change as the product continues to change. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. If you're looking to book your next vacation, whether it be a gamble vacation to Atlantic City, Vegas, Reno, wherever it may be, you let me know. Um, my details are listed in the description down below. And until next time, happy travels. Bye.